Hi everyone, Art Journal page today and I'm uh, going to use this uh, water uh, soluble oil pastels but you can do the same thing with acrylics or with gelatos anything that can react with water and this is a sketchbook that I have from the cheap store so plain uh, sketch paper and I'm going to use some uh, browns here I think yeah and an orange and some I don't know okra whatever so I'm going to start playing with this although I don't have I wanted some a uh, dark brown uh, which I don't see here so maybe I will take the dark brown from my gelatos and use that we'll see I have the gelatos also so I'm just going to play and start uh, putting down some color and I'm going to go about it quite randomly and when I'm finished I'm going to activate it with baby wipe now you can use a a brush with water but I like to activate it and try to blend it with a baby wipe up to you so this is supposed to be the dark brown I don't know I'm uh, trying to keep the darker colors towards the edges but otherwise I really don't care where ed everything is going Okay, so next, let's do this one. Trying to be quick about it. As I said, it's quite random and don't want to overthink it. I just want to spread some color. and I think that I want to put something that will be a little bit different from all this I don't know fall colors whatever to call it maybe gum maybe I'll also add a little bit of yellow just to have some highlights in several places I'm going to first do this and then I'm thinking of uh, adding some turquoise here so I don't want it to mix uh, too much the turquoise with these colors so so I won't get mud so I'm starting with this and then I will add the turquoise now you can start by activating all the same color or you can just go and let everything mix up to you or you can start with the darker colors and move on to the uh, less dark colors whatever works for you I don't mind that they are blend well I want them to blend and when I'm not cleaning or a uh, changing the place uh, on my baby wipe then I'm just dragging the paint to other colors and I think it helps in creating other shades in between of course it's uh, at some point it would be uh, almost dry so I'm then I'm changing it because the paper is sucking the moist out of the baby wipe okay I like it so turquoise A 
as you can see it goes on top of some of the other uh, colors but now I've finished activating them so I can go and do the turquoise and now I don't mind when it blends with the others just so at least in the middle I will have the turquoise without creating a MS and maybe just I still have a little bit here uh, from the turquoise and I, as you can see I'm just going and adding a little bit of it on the other colors and it makes everything I think more cohesive yeah I like it okay so it's uh, the page is a little bit moist so I'm going to let it be for a uh, like one two uh, minutes I'll be back okay so I'm back and I want to add details and interest to my background I've picked several stencils with a well small elements so it won't overwhelm my page I've got some turquoise acrylic paint here and some white I'm going to take a makeup sponge and start stenciling on my page so right now I'm just taking a from the turquoise and I'm dabbing the excess and start to stencil I've put masking tape so I can have only one I don't know row of uh, this stencil and I'm moving a little bit to the side I think I will uh, use this to like frame my page and go and do the corners with this so I'm doing this corner and I will do this one also we'll see this is part of the things that I don't really plan I'm just putting down something and I look at it and see if it if it works so next this corner I've picked small uh, elements to stencil so it won't overwhelm my page and that also what I've done with with the background won't get covered totally we always have we have many stencils we have many stamps and what you need to decide what to use what will work so sometimes you really get <laughs> frustrated <laughs> too much uh, stuff and you don't know what to use okay so maybe I will add more from this right now I'm leaving it be and I'm going with I think with this one and I'm going to take some of this I'm not cleaning my sponge I'm just staying with it and taking a little bit off the turquoise and once again it's going to be quite random but what I do try now to do is because all my uh, background is going like this then I'm uh, trying to go with the flow of the page I'm not trying to be uh, precise with the stenciling I like that some of them are uh, more precise uh, some of them less and that I have variation in the color because I'm playing with the turquoise and 
the white that I have here. Oh, I like it. I really, really like it. I'm just having fun spreading it around. Okay, so just maybe a little bit of dots. I don't know. I'm taking more of the white just so I will have something lighter on the page. I just don't like that they are like symmetrical and even spaced so maybe I need something else but well what the worst that could happen I will have this and that's it. Good enough. Yep. Just spreading it around. That's it. Okay. So I'm leaving it be. I want to a uh, do some more uh, stenciling or stamping I'm not sure yet what I'm going to use what I do know is that my focal image is going to be from this I want this are some cut out uh, die cuts of leaves that I found at the cheap store they are from a uh, mulberry paper and I want to use them here I think like three of them and let's see yeah something like that and i want something to be uh, behind them to offset them and i also want to add details to this um, leaves they are they are nice they have texture uh, they are not solid color which i really like but still i i feel like i need more uh, details on them so I'm going to stamp them I'm just going to <laughs> as I said going to let this dry before I'm doing some damage with wet paint and I'll be back okay I'm back and once again I'm using masking tape to define the area that I want to stencil I've picked this stencil don't know why <laughs> maybe because it's more wavy organic I don't know and I've put some black acrylic paint here which I'm going to uh, uh, mix with the turquoise I've got left here maybe it will be completely black once I'm <laughs> finished mixing them I don't care but I want to use it so here we go whatever it looks almost a uh, black and once again i'm using um, the makeup sponge and dabbing the excess now again my sponge is not clean so i'm getting all kinds of uh, shades and I don't care that's how I like it of course if you want solid color just change the sponge what I didn't think is how I'm going to do this let's see so I won't have a straight line let's hope it works almost Let's see, maybe I can do something like this, whatever. Don't know how much of it it 
will be shown so continuing stenciling it's not completely black it doesn't have a complete a turquoise hue and just something in between I don't know Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted. So I'm moving this aside for a minute and now for my leaves and I decided that I want something, but I'm going to use this a uh, stamp, this stamp uh, set I think I bought from AliExpress and let's put something and I need some black ink pad I didn't I didn't want something defined I wanted a, it's a, like a caressive text and it's not something that you can read and it just more of a decorative element than anything else now I'm not going to stamp uh, on the whole uh, leaf only on part of it let's see how I'm going to go about it and it's also textured so I'm not sure how it will take the stamp I'm putting some pressure and let's hope that I will get something interesting yeah good enough for me it doesn't have to be text it can be anything it can be dots it can be whatever you want flowers <laughs> leaves more leaves I stamped on that leaf I like it. Yeah. So we've got the leaves. Let's see how it will come together, if at all. Sometimes I have an ID and I'm going with it and it doesn't always work. But I like it. Okay, so it did work. <laughs> For me at least. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, glue them down and I feel like this page needs something more. So I'm going to glue them down and I'll be back. Okay, so leaves are in place and I just added some words. A beautiful thing is never perfect and I think that's it for this page. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.